The views and opinions expressed in this podcast do not necessarily reflect those of any major corporation whatsoever. Well then, my three buns. The Bunna Reed Show. Buntum <laughs> Leap. It's homework time once again on the Pope on Film podcast. <clears throat> People of the internet, your attention, please. Put down your fidget spin eye and pay attention. Fidget spin eye is the singular. Yes. Fidget spinners is the plural of fidget spin eye, which is the singular. It's called it's called science, honey. You just don't understand the science of it. <laughs> Each week, the Pope on Film podcast assigns homework to its listeners in the hopes of bettering people nay the human race yes and this week we are proud to announce that the transition is finally complete yes bunny and i have finally become women yes we have proud women women who wear pink and wear glitter and we will be covering different types of movies going forward. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. Like, uh, pretty sure uh, you've got mail. A lot more of Matthew McConaughey movies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, his oh, earlier his earlier stuff. Yeah. 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 And you know Not- what? Just since I mentioned Matthew McConaughey. I think it's time for certain people in Hollywood to apologize and say they're wrong. Dave Chappelle managed to do it. You know, Matthew McConaughey needs, needs to apologize for saying we need to give Trump a chance. Yeah. You know, yeah. Dave Chappelle did own up to that. Bruce, Bruce Willis owes us an apology for that. And, and so much more. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, um, so this week we are taking a long, we we are taking a long and dark road into the world of Netflix Netflix original programming, with the first two episodes of the Netflix original anime, Glitter Force. Yes, and I do demand extra credit for this homework. Okay. I do demand. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, this idea came from Isabella. Yes. She loves watching Glitter Force the same way that I love watching Tommy Wiseau in the room. That's I mean, there's real anime and then there's fucking Glitter Force. And, And, And I can understand that. I yeah, can... I, I didn't understand it for the longest time. She would watch this anime just to yell at it. Like, she would watch this anime all the time just so that she could scream at the anime. And I didn't understand, like, Bella, if you hate this so much, why are you watching it? Because I can't stop watching it. Because I've got to watch it, Dad. This is horrible, but I've got to watch it. And then eventually, like, Tommy Wiseau entered my mind, and I'm like, holy shit, she is my daughter. Yes. It's like, oh, this whole time I've been like angry at her for watching this, but now I realize that like, who told you how to do this stuff? You all right? I learned it by watching you. <laughs> like, oh no, sh- okay, there you go. Ex- that's exactly what this is. Okay, like, I, like I, if anything, I respect her more. The moment that I realized that that is why she was watching this is the moment that I went. Well, shit, we got to watch Glitter Force for the podcast. There's no there's no way around that. This anime is part of a movement that Netflix has been doing where Netflix desperate to fight Crunchyroll and other streaming services. Netflix goes to Japan, they look at their anime. Okay, this is this is uh, your anime. Huh? Okay. Um Now, where's the pile of stuff that hasn't been claimed yet by an American company? (laughs) 
Okay, so this is the pile of stuff that hasn't been claimed by an American company? Okay, I'm taking that and that and that and that and that and that. Thank you! Yeah. And then just, like, a random smattering of shit. And then bringing it to American audiences as just another drop in their bucket of original programming. Anime like Seven Deadly Sins, which uh, Bella was also uh, obsessed with for a while. Yeah. Blame, Little Witch Academy... Fairy Tale, which again Bella was in, it was really into on Netflix for a while. I was also really into Fairy Tale, only because of the boobs. Okay, and, and of course, to a lesser extent, the gory, gory, bloody anime Fuller House. Fuller House, yes. Fuller House. Yeah, I, I've heard that took a dark turn. I'm surprised at the blood that they used in in Fuller House. Fuller House is a huge hit. So Netflix says, yes. honestly, they don't release numbers, so they could basically say whatever they want to. Oh, yeah. You know what is a huge hit? Fuller House. Without uh, buying 5,000 copies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, Bella, come here. Bella, 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 Okay, so we're talking about Glitter Force. You just growled at me. Um, so, uh, what first drew you to Glitter Force? Was it the sparkles and the prettiness? Screw you. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm... The now, fact that it is an English anime on Netflix, because everything else is just in freaking Japanese. No, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here, uh, no, here's the thing. I, I'm going to uh, uh, stop talking to you and continue with what I have written here because you'll be interested in this. Last week, I tried to describe Glitter Force, and I'm pretty sure I nailed it with the whole, um, this is Voltron for girls written by a guy from New Jersey. Yes. That it's just, okay, this is what we do. We get, like, the Voltron, the different people with different colors and different names and powers, and they all come together to form a thing. We just we just chick it up. We just do it for broads, all right? So they got makeup, they got dresses and purses and uh, magical power of peace and whatever, and they shoot glitter, and there you go. We got a show. We'll call it Glitter Force or something. Yeah. But the surprising thing is, so I go on Google and I, I'm looking for information on Glitter Force and holy shit was I ever surprised. In Japan, this is a huge ass thing. Really? Jesus Christ. I know, right, Bella? Apparently in Japan, Glitter Force is called Smile Precure. It, it appeared on Japanese television in 2012 and... Much like fucking Ultraman, this is a big, lengthy Japanese franchise, like Doctor Who, with different itinerations of girls, uh, different names and different powers. Different people have taken up this mantle of the Glitter Force team, like uh, Doctor Who. And they have video games and uh, toys and movies. There's like a movie for each season. No. In fact, Smile Precure, a.k.a. Glitter Force, is the ninth season or ninth installment of what the Japanese people call the Pretty Cure series of shows. Really? And isn't that just like an American company? Isn't that just like Netflix to go, oh, Glitter Force, this has been popular, huh? We'll take the ninth one. Yeah. We'll take, like, the one in the middle of the series, and we'll put it in Netflix. Will they understand what's going on? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We are desperate for original content. We're taking season nine of Pretty Cure. Surprisingly, it was more, like, explanations than I thought it would be. Yeah. In fact, um... The Pretty Cure series is currently on its 14th series that is playing right now on Japanese TV. There have been over 600 episodes. Each season has had its own manga and has ended with its own movie. 
that oftentimes plays on in movie theaters. Really? They have a series of toys. I dream of one day getting you a Glitter Force backpack, by the way. <laughs> so this oh, freaking nice. show... This freaking show is for American audiences just confusing as shit. And the reason why is because Netflix just randomly chose series number nine to translate into English. Like, what the fuck? Yes, but but we are getting an origin story. And you yeah. get an origin story in both of them. Yeah. So, so Glitter Force Doki Doki is actually... Uh, season 10. Yeah. Season 9 was 42 episodes, and they got 40 of those and turned them into Glitter Force Season 1 and 2 on Netflix. So then Netflix was just like, okay, let's just get Season 10 while we're at it. So they got Season 10 and turned that into Glitter Force Doki Doki. So you actually watched uh, the first two episodes of Glitter Force and the first two episodes of Glitter Force Doki Doki. Yes. Stella, have you watched Glitter Force Doki Doki yet? Because I know you're a big fan of Glitter Force. Have you seen Glitter Force Doki Doki? Nope. Why haven't you seen Glitter Force Doki Doki? I'm still in the first season. Stella, I'm in the season. Stella, I'm the come here. Season. Come here. Come here. Let me Are tell you, you why Oh, she's a completist. Like... Okay. Yeah. Let me yeah. tell you why I like Glitter Force. Your love of Glitter Force. Because I'm 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 putting my arm around you in a loving manner. You're, still uh, you're so your mom. <laughs> let me, let me, let, me ex- me. let me let me explain to you why I love your love of glitter force. I have constantly questioned you as to if you hate this show so much, and literally you are just screaming at the television watching this show. You are literally just yelling at the, oh, my God, now why are you doing that? Oh, my God, you're so stupid. I realize that that is my love of bad movies translated into my daughter's love and equal hatred of this stupid show. (laughs) And the moment that I realized that, like, my constantly watching the Oogie Loves and the Big Balloon Adventure has somehow come into you constantly watching Glitter Force, That's when I said, we've got to do this on the podcast because there's a connection, Bella. There's a connection. (laughs) You got this from me. And I'm so excited. Because Glitter Force is horrible, but I want to watch every goddamn episode of this. (laughs) With a beer in my hand. Because I love hating this stupid show. I personally have a hard... See, for me, I find... Japanese anime girl voices to be like nails going down a chalkboard. And in either of these series, they did not shut up for a fucking second. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's 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 a good point. Uh, you don't see a lot of anime where a, a female character is like, hey, what's going on? So, what's up? Maybe we should defeat this dragon. No, every female I mean, character is, we need to defeat this dragon now! <laughs> yeah. 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 Every every anime. Those animes are better! Don't do that! Yeah. They're amazing. I, 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 I felt like the final scene of, almost the final scene of Clockwork Orange, where the cripple guy is playing the fifth of Beethoven as loud as he can, and yeah. and then Alex just throws himself out the window. Yeah. It was a lot yeah. like that. Sucks for you, Bella. Yeah. So Wait, let's let's discuss yes. Glitter Force. So there's a new girl at school that has been having dreams of Glitter Force. Really yes. <laughs> Just just that right there is already like wonderful. The the red one had a dream of glitter force and woke up uh in a rush to get to her new school. Yeah, yeah. So the glitter force are girls with magical powers that all come from magical makeup, I guess. Yes. So she's running to school and when she gets to school, she meets new friends who are all obviously glitter force members. There's five of them. There are, and I wrote them all down exactly. 
I wrote them all down exactly as they appeared on the show. There was glitter spring, glitter yeah. piece, glitter urinary tract infection, glitter maggots in an open wound, and of course, the leader, glitter pierce Brosnan. I was a big fan of Glitter Pierce Brosnan. Yes. I'm going to move the podcast. Oh, I'm sorry. We're... Is my saving the world bothering you? Well, between your uh, masking tape and the baby screaming. What? It's a dead bird. What did, who said what? Loki brought in a dead bird. Uh-oh, no, it's still alive, I think it's lying in the bathroom. Jeannie's going to have to finish it. Jeannie, finish it! <laughs> finish him! Or her. I mean, we don't know what gender the bird is. Let's try and be yeah. nice finish here. Finish it was good enough. Finish then. it? Yeah. No, but I wanted to do a Mortal Kombat reference. Finish anyway. them! Yeah. She is, <laughs> she is trying to get the wounded bird out. I, yeah. Here, don't let her get away with it. Oh, she's showing you her watch. Oh, yeah, the, she might need help. Do we need to pause the podcast? Yes, so let's pause it. The dead bird. Okay, we'll pause it for a sec. All right. So, uh, they're the glitter force. They fight these fairy tale creatures, including the big bad wolf who can summon monsters, yeah. like he does in the first episode. Wherein our buffoonish hero, the new girl, learns that she's the chosen one and also the pink one. Yes. It's important to mention that. In episode one, she defeats the big bad wolf. And in episode two, she starts looking for the other members of the Glitter Force. And I like this show and I stand up for this show because this show teaches girls important things like friendship and loyalty and doing what you're told without questioning. Yeah. And all girls love pink, and they cry easily, and they're not as strong as men. All important lessons that girls must learn. Yes. Uh-huh. And thinking none of, of them episode. have noses. And none of them have noses, yeah. Ulrich. Ulrich. I was thinking... His name is Ulrich! I was, I was specifically thinking of that one episode that we saw where... Um, all of the monsters turn into humans and run for class president. Man, I love that. And they're trying to run for class president. Like, if you vote for me, I'll make sure there's never any homework. If you vote for me, I'll get you sweets. Yeah. Well, really? that sounds like a much more intricate plot than these first two episodes, which oh, were yeah. virtually the same. Yeah. But then, like, but then, like, a uh, 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 glitter pink is all like, I might not be offering you candy and video games, but I think that it's great to help out each other and work yeah. hard and 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 learn. And it's like, yeah, okay, this is exactly what we need to be teaching kids. Hey, uh, work hard and don't question anything. <laughs> Good citizens. Yes. Yeah. You like it, it? What's the big bad wolf's name? Ulrich. 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 Like I Skeet Ulrich. Ulrich? I have no idea who that is. Yeah, I didn't think you would. I don't, He's I don't got think cool hair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he does. He has really cool hair. The big bad wolf does. Anyway, uh, Emerald's running. Uh, anyway, that is it for homework this week. Do you have oh, anything else you wanted to add to Glitter Force Bunny? It's a weird sentence. I didn't think I'd be saying. I, I, no, I don't think there's anything more I can really add to this. Okay. Everybody should experience it at least once. It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. That is it for homework this week. And I honestly hope that your hearts, minds, and urethras have all been suitably opened. Ah, ah, but don't think you're getting away that easily, bucko. Uh, easily though easily is the optimum term here because I don't know if you've noticed this bunny but I have been trying to make the podcast easier 
easier to cut up, easier to edit, yeah. easier to write, especially. For a while there, I was just drowning in all of the writing that I was doing for the show. Like, I overloaded myself. It was all my fault. But here I am with, like, 10, 12, 14 pages of lengthy, detailed notes scribbled like a madman's manifesto. <laughs> Boom! Madman's manifesto. Free band name of the week. I just put a section of the podcast in another section of the podcast. Madman's manifesto. I can totally see the two albums they release before they break up. <laughs> so... Um, it's easier, it, it's easier to write when we just say, fuck it, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah. That's, 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 that's a good choice. Fuck it, Glitter Force. It's on Netflix. Mm -hmm. You know? So with that in mind, next week for homework, we are watching... The first three episodes of the bizarre new sitcom, The Good Place. Yay! It's on Netflix. Uh, I have a really good feeling about this show. The plot is both unoriginal and wholly unique. Basically, a girl dies, she goes to heaven with a bunch of other people in heaven, and that's the show. The major difference is this: there must have been some, uh, uh, what is it, some... Uh, Magic dust. No, no, no. There must have been some sort of mistake because the person who got sent to heaven is actually a horrible person. Okay. It just so happens that uh, they think she's someone else. Of course, you got sent to heaven because of all your humanitarian work, saving animals in the rainforest. Yes, of course, I did that. That was me. <laughs> I certainly did not spend all my time on the Internet making fun of people. No, I was helping animals. Yes. <laughs> So it like I've got a really good feeling. It's a good show. It's a very original premise, and I just I just want to talk about it. It's on Netflix. Ted Danson is there, and he's actually good. I don't know when the last time was I gave a crap about Ted Danson. Yeah, you know. But but this is just the right show for him. This is like the first time where I could be like, holy crap, I like Ted Danson. I, I, I can't <laughs> believe the last time I've said that, but oh my god, I love Ted Danson. This well, is a really it, good... it would have to be whenever Cheers was cancelled. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I wasn't watching Becker and getting blown away. Yeah, no. <clears throat> yeah, but this is just perfect for him right now in his life, and the show has great writing, and it's very unique and original, and you just don't see that in TV anymore, and I'm, I, I just, it's on Netflix, and I want to talk about it, so we're doing the first three episodes of A Good Place, it's on Netflix, watch it, it's damn good, and uh, yeah, so that's next week. All right. So in Tune in next week for more homework with the Poop on Film Podcast. And cut. And cut. <laughs>